Hey everybody, DTV here with another episode of Quest Text. Today we're gonna do a quest for Assistant Greeley. I seen you around here before. Rock and powder. Well, we better read her flavor text first. We haven't read this yet. I definitely did not sign up for this. Pick me zombies? Hobart better give me a huge raise. Greeley, why do the super booster rocket boots only work on the zombies? I'm so glad you asked, Pixley. This is from a couple episodes ago. No one ever asks how stuff works. It's just here. Give me that. I'm going to blow stuff up. Or don't bore me with the details. Just let me point and shoot. Or worse yet, who cares how it works? Is it a bigger explosion than the last time? I swear, sometimes I could just scream, you know? It's like I'm always doing all of Hobart's work for him. But I never get any of the credit. I have to got to be the most underappreciated, overworked, and underpaid Tinker's assistant ever. Wait, what did you ask about? <laughs> Catch on the flip Let's do side. her quest. What's the word Rock on the and street? powder. I'll give these pygmies one thing. They sure know how to throw a party. But they're not so clever. I think I've discovered the source of their rockin' powers. Rockin' powder. It turns out that this stuff, which turns them into world-class rockers, is also highly explosive. We must have it. So, while you're in there at Ustan, to the east, make sure that you pick up a whole bunch of the stuff. Trust me, you're gonna need it for what's coming up. See you around, friend. Okay. So we have, what have we learned from this little quest hub? Uh, that WoW is designed to do multiple quests at one time. This, this antiquated questing style is not gonna work. Cause now we have to run through all these zombies again, which died very easily to the boots. So we're gonna have to try to sneak through here. Oh, I didn't resummon my void walker. Whoops. We may have to rethink our quest texting strategy. Because this may not work anymore. Because, I mean, if you think about it, all the quests are like this. Like, everywhere. So. Now, if we were doing, like, vanilla, or maybe once we get to, like, DC area, it probably won't be so bad. But when they're designed to be done together, to do multiple objectives at once, it's, uh, yeah. Because we almost died last time from these stupid zombies. Because they have a gigantic aggro radius. Gigantic aggro radius. And they have a lot of health, so they're hard to kill. But we do need to... Oh, uh, let's just kill. Let's summon the Void Walker. At least they're slow. Let's save ourselves here. Okay, that was... You also get no XP for killing them, so that kind of sucks. Okay, so we actually need to kill these guys to get to that powder. Uh, all right. That should be dead. Okay, we'll just go ahead and pick up our stuff. We need five of the rock and powders. Thankfully, a lot of them are around here. So that's nice. Like, right around here. Bonus. Uh, take that, you fiend. Die quickly. Thank you. All right. Three more. There's, there they are right there, right in front of us. I'm gonna waste. I'm not even gonna waste the global on casting corruption. Not worth. See, not worth. It's a couple of shadow bolts, and we'll be good to go. And that should be that. That should be the quest right there. There we go. All right, let's get out of here and try not to die. That's the trick. We're going to aggro the zombies. There's nothing we can really do about it. So jump over stuff and try to lose their trail. And run into a bunch more. Oh, no. That's bad. That almost was really bad. Okie dokie. Look, I got little demon horns popping out. <laughs> I never noticed that before, actually. That's cool. Okay, Assistant Kareli, we're done. Yo. Hmm, let me see how much you've got. I got five of them, like you asked for. 
This'll do. In fact, it's more than we need. I devised an ingenious idea for a weapon that the boots will be turned into once you get them to Hobart. Hand the powder over, and I'll load it into the Super Booster Rocket Boots. Go get him, champ. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and do the next one. Go, go! Rocket Boot Boost. You need to get those boots down to into the caldera to Hobart Grapple Hammer. Now that they're infused with the leftover rocket powder, they should have enough thrust to get you all the way there on one shot. When you're ready, activate the boots. Don't worry, they're automatically set to land you safely. I think. All right. Hit the road. You're gonna love this. All right. Woo! I can see my house from here. Actually, I almost can. <laughs> Oh, I'm going into the belly of the beast. AKA, weird cave thing. Bomp. Nice landing. What? Well, there you are. Thank you, Hobart. There's no time to waste, girl. What's wrong with the actuator on the left boot? Oh, come on, man. Let's resummon this guy before we forget. Children of a turtle god. Volkanoth is the turtle god in the cave that these primitives worship. He's not really a god. Hobart rolls his eyes. But it is tough enough that I'm going to have to devise a new weapon for you from the one functioning boot we have left. I think the age-old motto of light fi fight fire with fire applies here. Plus, I like fire. Let's get some fire glands from Volkanoth's children. That should give me time to modify the rocket boot into something more fitting. Go, go! We have to collect five fire glands. And we do that by killing the turtles. Okay. I can do this thing. I love I like turtles. Sorry, you knew that was coming. You knew that was coming. Okay, so let's kill five turtles. They actually don't have that much health, so let's go ahead and start tagging multiples. Just uh one shadow bolt, one corruption should be enough to kill them with the uh, void walker damage. And one more. Assuming it's the one hundred percent drop rate, which it should be. Oh, we got four. Did we not loot one? No, nope, we didn't loot one. Okay. Nails it. No, oh, it had two of them even. Nice. Well, that's a time saver. A little help here. I need an assistant. Oh, you can wait. Don't waste my time. No time like the present to be done with the simplest task I put before you, Pixley. Wouldn't you agree? Sure. Careful with those glands, Pixley. Careful! Grapplehammer's eyes light up at the sight of the fiery organs. And now, to load them into the refashioned shredder boot, I'm certain that you'll be surprised and amazed by my genius invention. Okay. Ah, uh, you know, it's pretty short. We'll do one more. Volkanoth. It took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. But the bootzooka, patent pending, is ready for use. There's no good pygmies have been feeding... Oh, pfft. let's try that again. These no good pygmies have been feeding our people to their god, quote unquote, Volkanoth. And they're about to unleash it on our town. You have to get into the cave and kill that thing before it's too late. And we get a belt we can't use. Careful okay. out there. Well, I guess we don't have a choice. We go in, we kill the dude. I set the boot Zuka to fire several rockets per shot. I'm fairly certain that I perf perfectly calibrated the targeting. AKA they're all gonna miss, so we gotta kill them ourselves. That's what's gonna happen. What are you doing? What are you doing, Kragnar? Stop it. We don't need that kind of negativity in our life. Okay, so there's Volkanoth. He's got 2,800 health. A decent amount. <laughs> so we're gonna shoot these boot rockets at him. Target Volkanoth and fire! Does 600 fire damage and the range is 60 yards. Some splash damage to the cavern and the volcano's interior may occur. Use at your own risk. Okay, well, let's just shoot it. Boom. We'll shoot it a lot. <laughs> we'll just spam the thing. 
Pixley, come on, get over here! Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. You don't even have to loot the guy? That is a giant freaking turtle. Holy crap. Look how big this thing is. I mean, you see it from far away, it doesn't look that bad, but damn, that is a big turtle. I want a turtle god. You in a plane? Yeah. It's my way. I managed to get everyone else way. safely back to town. Jump in. We gotta get out of here before the volcano blows for good. Okay, we're getting in. Old friends. All right then, grab onto the ladder. We gotta get out of here. We'll make a flyby of the town, and then I'm gonna get you some, get you to some old friends. Do not. Get okay. Out. We're getting out of here. Hang on, Pixley. We have to get out of here now. It's like escaping the second Death Star, only not nearly as cool and less Tie Fighters. I think you could go like any faster. My flying mounts can go faster than this. And why isn't this a mount yet? I have to ask. It could even be a multi seat mount. Do not comprehend. Everything's blowing up. The entire island is gonna blow. Again. Holy crap. There is lava everywhere. Wow. Like, it did blow. I mean, we didn't really notice it from down there, but... Holy balls. Jesus, look at that. I mean, that's crazy. There's Town in a Box. It's going up in flames. No, my Town in a Box! Oh, we're apparently going to swing back around to the Town in a Box because... Impending doom is no big deal in World of Warcraft. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna land? No, no, we're just gonna fly by. All right. Let's, let's look at the devastation. Jesus Christ! It's pretty cool though. I love it when the land dynamically changes. It's really cool. Like the Cataclysm event itself was actually. Although I don't like some of the changes that they made, it was still pretty cool. Pretty cool to witness. War Chief's Lookout. Oh, we're back to Thrall! Yay! Green Jesus is here to save us. Alright, Green Jesus. Lokhtar, friend. I told you we'd meet again, Pixley. The War Chief gives you an appraising look. Unfortunate that it's under such dire circumstances. Well, that's it for today's quest. Tune in next time when we're going to do some work for our good buddy, Green Jesus. And if you don't want to miss that, if you like what you're seeing, why don't you go ahead and hit that follow button. I mean, you don't have to, but you'd be a lot cooler if you did. I'm D2D. We'll see you next time. Hello,